Hey everyone, it's Tamara. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day three of our seven day flexibility challenge. Thank you so much for all the amazing feedback and comments you've been leaving so far. It really motivates me and I learned so much from you along the way. Today we are going to be having a little bit of a shorter routine because um, we're focused on our arms and our shoulders and we already do a ton of that in a lot of the other days. And it's also because for tomorrow we're winding up for something special. I'll just go ahead and give it away. It's going to be balance and binds. So, you know, a little bit of a shorter routine today because it's going to be a little bit teeny more challenging and longer tomorrow. But that's why we're here. We're here to challenge ourselves and have fun. So if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe so that you will see the video when it comes out. And I hope you enjoy this routine. Thank you. Okay, friends. So starting on the mat on your knees for today, let's go ahead and get started by having your arms wave back and forth, keeping it super fluid, stay very relaxed because what we're going to do next is reach way above our head and grabbing one wrist, grab your right wrist with your left hand and lean over to the left. You should feel a really nice stretch on the side of your body. And then once again, coming out of that stretch, relax your arms, keep it fluid, rotate your wrists. And we're gonna once again reach overhead and pull the left side of your body, your left arm with your right hand and lean over to the right. Once again, feeling that nice stretch on the side of your body. Now coming out of the kneeling position that you've been in, sit with your legs crossed in front of you. You can also choose to stack one leg on the other if that's more comfortable for you. And we're going to very closely have our left elbow as close to our body as possible and then reaching our right hand across our body to the left side. Once again, feeling that nice stretch on the side of our body. Everything is very relaxed before returning to center. Okay, in the center, you're gonna shake it all out and feel super relaxed. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Have your right elbow as close to your body as possible and lean over, reaching your left hand above your head to the opposite side. Okay, and then coming out of that stretch, we're gonna to return to the center and as always, wave things around, keep yourself as fluid and as relaxed as possible because then we're gonna reach overhead, we're gonna cross our arms and we're gonna as closely as possible fold until you can get your forearms as close to the floor as possible. Now today, if your forearms aren't on the floor, that's okay, just as long as you reach forward in front of you, stretching out your back, keeping your back as flat as possible. Next, if you're comfortable, bring both arms to the two sides of you so your shoulders can really feel a nice stretch. And then see if you can reach all the way back and have your hands meet for a bind behind you. Pulse back and forth just for a moment there and then very slowly with control, release your two hands and have them fall to your two sides again before you push them in front of you so you can push all the way back up slowly. Now I'm gonna stay here for a moment because as I always mention, with flexibility, repetition is key. So we're gonna do that once again. Have your two hands to your sides and then have them meet behind your back, reaching far back as far as possible and pulsing just for a moment there before we release. And this time, once again, we're gonna go on our forearms to start and we're gonna push all the way back up. Okay, good job. Now shake it out, shake your wrist, shake your head side to side and get ready to go on to your hands and knees for your first tabletop because what we're gonna do is we're gonna just push back and forth a little bit to shake out your wrists and then reach your right hand above, straight above you. And what you're gonna do is push it under your left arm so that you're in your first needle thread. Now staying as flat and close to the ground as possible, really lean in to give that right shoulder what feels like a gentle massage before we lift right back out, pulling your right arm out, and once again, reaching it above your head for that nice stretch. And then we're gonna gently place our right arm back down. So now I'm gonna turn to face you. I'm really just gonna do the same thing again, but it's a different perspective so you can see what's going on. Reach your right arm above your head, and then have it go all the way under your left arm, keeping your left arm bent at a 90 degree angle while pushing into that right shoulder as flat to the close to the ground as possible. And then you're gonna come out of that stretch with a lot of control, reach your right arm above your head again, all the way above, and just gently place it to the ground. Let's turn to face the opposite wall than what we were facing last time. It's to give a different perspective, rock back and forth, 
gently massage your wrist, and now reach your left arm above your head and thread the needle by placing your left arm underneath your right arm, right arm bent at a 90 degree angle. And of course, remembering to breathe, we're gonna come out of that needle thread and just once again, reach your left arm above and place it back down, keeping everything very relaxed. I'm gonna come back to the center and instead of some cat cows, I'm just gonna push from side to side to keep myself relaxed back and forth. And once again, now I'm gonna do it one more time. Left arm underneath right arm. And then, okay, we're coming out of our last needle thread with a lot of control. We're gonna push upwards and once again, just keep that left hand really relaxed and push back and forth. And now as we sit back once again on our heels and glutes meeting, let's do a quick tricep stretch. Bent arms, pull your tricep down before once again going to the other side and doing it with the left tricep. Bending your left arm and pulling your arm down. Okay, now we're gonna sit back on our butt, on our mat. And of course, we're gonna shake everything out because there just wouldn't be a flexibility routine if we weren't shaking things out and staying very relaxed. Now we're gonna take things in a bit of a different direction and we're gonna go into a reverse tabletop. It's gonna really put some pressure down on your wrist, so be careful about that. Nothing should feel forced and try to keep your hips level so that you aren't tilted more to one side, left or right, before you settle back down slowly. And then you're gonna round your back and just hug your knees in for a moment to, to relax. And of course, when it comes to our flexibility practice, repetition is key. So once again, reverse tabletop, dig those heels in. Next, very quickly, we're gonna have you do something interesting. You're gonna slowly go down, but then as you push back, you should go in between your hands and then release some, keeping it fluid. Reach above head and then grab your toes or your heels, whatever you can. With a lot of control, you're gonna roll back out and you're going to gently push yourself forward so that you can roll back in your mat one vertebrae at a time. But we're not gonna fully go back down. We're gonna stay in our forearms. If you're comfortable, if you're not, that's okay. Don't lean all the way back. But if you can, lean all the way back and look at the opposite wall. And then as you slowly lift your head to look back up, very slowly do it with control so you don't hurt your neck. Now we're gonna roll all the way down, placing your hands on the sides of your body. And to now really heat up your core and your shoulders, bring your knees closer to your body. So your heels are gonna be close to your glutes and we're gonna go into our bridge, pressing down to the floor as much as possible. You don't have to actually go as high up as, you, as I'm going right here if you're not comfortable this time. Next, we're gonna go into what we call a wheel prep. So first, shake everything out and be very relaxed. And then you're gonna place your hands in the opposite direction of what is normally a little bit more natural, just beside your ears. And bring your hands as close as possible to your ears. And then that's it, shake everything out, shake your wrist out. They've been doing a lot of hard work. Now, join your hands together and push everything away and slowly rise back up. Now very slowly and relaxingly, we're gonna sit back in a cross-leg position. Slowly make your way there or stack one leg over the other and then have both arms in a 90 degree angle. You're gonna lean side to side and look over your shoulder. Shake everything out. Cross your arms in front of one another. Now we're nearing the end of our flexibility routine for day three. So a little bit of an extra boost. We're gonna have both of our legs bent and our feet on the sides of our body. And then we're gonna be going into our first eagle arms pose. So what you're gonna do is left arm underneath right arm and have them cross in the middle to meet each other, lifting up as much as possible. So it's almost as though you're in a reverse prayer position. And then breathe, let it go, because we're gonna do it once again. This time your right arm is gonna be underneath your left arm. And again, you're gonna have both the hands face inwards. So there, it's like a prayer position, but it's the opposite of what you naturally do. And then let it go. Don't forget to breathe. I'm gonna come out of this sitting position and I'm gonna to turn to the side just to show you what the eagle arms pose looks like once again from the side. And you can see how far I'm really pushing away from my face. 
Once again, left arm underneath the right arm this time. And then, just to get ready to really end our flexibility practice for day three, I'm gonna turn to face away from you so you can see what's going on behind me. I'm going to once again, sit with both of my feet on the sides of my body, then I'm first just gonna reach for opposite arms, opposite elbows, and then I'm gonna lean back. It's a nice back stretch, shoulder stretch. And that was a bit of a preview of a bind, which is one of the things that we're gonna really work on on day four, balances and binds. We're turning back up. And now, if you're feeling up to it, you're gonna go into a prayer behind your back. Have the, have the hands meet. If you're not quite here yet, once again, just grab the opposite elbows. Thank you once again for joining me for day three of this flexibility routine. I'm so grateful you're here and please do subscribe to the channel so you know when day four comes out and please do relax and try to keep repeating this. Today was a bit of a slower day because when it comes to your arms and your shoulders, it's it may look like a really small thing, but you're doing a lot. And I think this routine is especially good for someone who might be sitting at their desk and using their keyboards all day. Okay, I'll see you for day four soon.